Slow down. Take a deep breath. Have more time to be free. More time to laugh. To dream. Have more time for your grandchildren. More time to wonder. More time to play. To love. Have more time for everything. From a peer on life, the leader in age therapies. Immortality may not be the subject of science fiction or fantasy in the near future. We may actually see this technology within this century, and that is very fascinating to me. My film is called The Last Generation to Die, and is set in the future when humans discover how to stop aging through genetics. The story itself is framed uh, at sort of the generational divide between a father and daughter. The daughter works at a company called Pure on Life, the first company to bring this technology to the public. She has an opportunity to bring in her aging father for one of the early trials and potentially save his life. She starts him on the trials, but he soon stops coming, and so the film becomes about the conflict between her wanting to keep him around with her and his belief that death is a natural part of humanity. Technology is speeding up, and you can get a sense of this through many headlines that would have been in the realm of science fiction even a decade or two ago. There's a lot of science and research going on now that is laying the groundwork to stop aging. I think now is a good time to take a bit and reflect on what all these changes mean to us as humans, and a film is the perfect way to get that discussion going. This is a film I think that needs to be made. Everything we've known has an ending. Many would argue that there is beauty in finality, that the end itself is what makes the art worth it. And with this film, I want to ask that question. What does it mean when you take away a definite ending? Is it part of humanity to be able to extend itself? Is there beauty in that? Is it just something that we have to wrap our minds around and something that we have to come to eventually and it'll soon be something that we don't even hardly think about anymore? I'm in a generation that might live long enough for this technology to be available. And when I think about my own parents dying naturally, uh, that's something that you know, I, it's moving, uh, you know, it's, I would want to save them naturally, and I think that, um, I think there's a rich story there. My name is Vincent Shade, and I'm an assistant director and producer on this project. Some of my past work includes working on films from Paramount, uh, from The Onion, and also from 3Net, which is Sony, IMAX, and Discovery Channel. We have a great crew, and they're on this because they're passionate about the project, they love the script, they love the story. A longtime colleague of mine and collaborator, uh, Cody Stokes, is going to be the DP. Cody and I have worked together on many projects and we have a good shorthand down. In addition to working as a DP for features, commercials, and music videos, Cody is also an accomplished director himself, which helps a lot to seam the look together with the story. I've also worked as a director of photography on many projects and have a strong sense of visuals for this film. We are also shooting on RED in 4K, so we are future-proofing our future film. The visual effects of this film are going to be a core part. As a VFX artist myself, I understand the challenges and how to effectively shoot to get the best result. With this film, we want to show you some glimpses of the future and have uh, scenes where your eyes get to explore this world. To do that on an indie budget, we will use locations that already look futuristic and subtly add to them with unique production design and visual effects work in post. 3D printing is a rapidly developing technology that will undoubtedly be a part of our future. We want to incorporate it in both the making of the film and the actual story itself in an interesting way. We will be making some 3D printed props to give the film a very unique, one-of-a-kind look. With one of our rewards, you can also get your own 3D printed model of the DNA Helix from the company logo in the film. There's a lot of expenses in making a film. Everything from locations to insurance, renting gear to catering. And since we are creating a sci-fi film, 
we will need 3D printed props, visual effects, and talented actors. This is where you come in. With your support, we can create a futuristic world and produce a beautiful piece of cinema that rivals bigger budget films. We really appreciate your help in making this happen. Thank you. This film is really important to me, and uh, along with all the rewards and the whole Kickstarter campaign, um, I just really want to make a great film. I am asking for your support and to be a part of this project with me, and I just want to thank you for taking your time to watch this, and hopefully we'll see you in the future.